So there are 80 doctors who specializes in internal medicine and surgery and were sampled randomly and asked about their preference of conducting patient consultation during the COVID pandemic. So they were asked their preference as to they want teleconsultation, face-to-face, -face, or blended, teleconsult plus face-to-face. -face. So the problem is, is there a significant differences between the specialty and the type of consultation they prefer? All of a chi-square uh, using the uh, independent test. So we have an example. We have an 80 doctor who specializes in internal medicine and surgery. Okay, that was sampled randomly and asked about their preference of conducting patient consultation during the COVID pandemic. And they were asked uh, their preference as to uh, whether they would like to do a teleconsultation, a face-to-face, -face, or a blended type, which is the teleconsultation and face-to-face. -face. So in this this time we will be uh, putting a code for each of these groups so teleconsultation will be tc face to face will be ff blended teleconsultation and face to face will be tf so what do you observe in here so we're putting them into group so what are the type of data that we are using here so definitely these are nominal type of data so they are um, qualitative in nature so they are not quantitative so we're just putting this uh, 80 doctors uh, according to their preference in three groups okay so the problem will be is there a significant differences between the specialty and the type of consultation they preferred okay so you have to uh, this is your problem and then you have to state your uh, hypothesis so your hypothesis will be no there will be no relationship between the specialty and the consultation method and your alternate hypothesis will be there is a relationship between specialty and consultation method okay so for the 80 uh, doctors okay which were divided into either they are internists and surgeons and they were randomly uh, asked which is their preference consultation method whether the teleconsult face-to-face -face, or blended okay so there is a scientific way in which you can do this uh, contingency table okay so but uh, in this case so let's just go and dive in to the summary of the contingency table that you were able to um, produce so among the internists, there were 18 who agreed to have uh, or who preferred to have a teleconsult, while surgeons, uh, only 12 of them, would like to have the teleconsultation uh, practice. Uh, the internist uh, uh, has a 14 numbers who agrees for face-to-face, -face, and surgeons would like to have a face-to-face -face consultation. Okay, And for the blended one, uh, internist, uh, five of the internists uh, wants this uh, type of consultation and six of the surgeons wanted this one okay so actually this is your contingency table I just added some columns and uh, um, and uh, rows just to facilitate the computation and so that you will understand further so we have a uh, put here the grand total and then the sum of its rows and then the grand total and then the sum of its uh, columns no? and then the grand total so because we will be needing these values because in our uh, computation okay so uh, this is the observed so the expectation is that um, well you would like to to see that uh, it is equally um, equally distributed among them no? okay but the truth is your uh, wait so this this should be expected expected okay. so in real in reality okay what you expect is not really what's happening to uh, uh, be in your observations okay so uh, ideally you expected pwede mong ilagay dito but there is a scientific way to calculate for the uh, real value of the expected uh, uh, numbers in here so what we can do is to find the scientific way 
uh, or computing the expected value for these uh, cells, no? we can use the formula of expected, which is equivalent to uh, the sum of its rows times the sum of its column divided by the grand total. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we put in here the equal sign, so uh, the row sum, which is sub 37, okay, or it should be asterisk for times, and then column, so column sum, so this is the column sum, right? Okay, then put a parenthesis and then divided by the grand total, which is your grand total, your grand total is 80, right? And then you just have to click enter and that's it. You got the um, expected, this is the expected number of internees that should be doing a teleconsultation. So this is a scientific way of doing that. Okay, so um, there is a shortcut para dire-direction na makuha mo dyan. You just have to drag it up papunta doon and uh, uh, automatically you can compute for that. But uh, you have to uh, put the absolute sign muna. So you have to click in here and then makukuha mo ulit yung uh, official or, or the original formula. What you have to do is you have to insert a dollar sign. Okay, a dollar sign there which means that this can be used uh, for the entire formula in there. Kasi um, yung rows column mo for this one will still be the same and uh, the column sum will still also be the same and the grand total will also be the same. So you also have to put in dollars, dollar sign there. Okay, so that this means you can use this formula to solve for the other one. So you just have to click in here and then drag it, okay, you have to drag it towards there, and automatically you have the computed expected values. So these are your expectations. Uh, these are the expectations for the, the number of internists to be doing the, to the teleconsult, the face-to-face, -face, and the uh, blended one. And the observed one is, uh, instead of 13, the observed mode are 18, so face to face you invest in 18 they have 14 5 uh, almost the same huh? okay so let's go for the surgeons then so again the um, formula will be equal so your row sum so this will be your row sum okay so i forgot to uh, let's do this again you have to put the parentheses let me explain that so your row sum will be 43 okay times with an asterisk your column sum this is your column sum okay so uh, another parenthesis divided by your grand total which is 80 okay so you just have to click enter and that's it you have your uh, expected number of surgeons supposedly to be doing the teleconsult so if you can uh, con if you try to um, compare with the observed so there are 16 you are expecting 16 surgeons to be doing teleconsult but in actuality you only have 12 and then you have to compute for this one again so you have to click this one so that your formula will be appearing here and put the absolute uh, dollar sign okay there and another absolute dollar sign for your grand total because you will be using the same values okay so that if you uh, click on here and drag it towards there and automatically you have a, uh, a total number of, uh, of uh, expectations here. Um, we really need to uh, reduce this one to two decimal points para hindi kayo uh, masyadong mahirapan. No? But uh, anyway, we'll do it later. So, so, this will now be your contingency table. You have the expected number of uh, uh, surgeons and internists to be doing a specific type of consultation. And this is the actual or the observed num number of internists and surgeons to be doing these different options of consultation. So, uh, what we want now is to compare if there is a significant difference between what we expected and what is happening. Okay, so let's start to uh, compute for 
uh, the value of the significance. So your chi-square test is to see the significance uh, between these two values, between the observed and the expected. So there are two ways in which we can do that. Uh, we can use the uh, p-value approach or the critical calculated value approach. So first, we will have to do, use the p-value uh, uh, approach. Para kung gusto mong magmadaling makita ka agad for the decision, you can use the p-value. So in your p-value, uh, we have to uh, use the formula chi square dot test so in here we'd like to put it uh, put your equal sign and then type in your chi square test and it should be quar chi square dot test okay so that will mean uh, you need to have your actual range and the expected uh, expected range so your actual range is this one you just have to click that one and then for the expected range it, and then the expected range I have to put comma and then the expected range is this one okay so for that just have to click enter so this will be your p-value so if our significance um, uh, level of significance is uh, P of uh, 0 0.05 okay so you have to compare uh, this is larger than your P so therefore uh, let's put this one here so you see the uh, importance of uh, uh, putting your uh, expected level of confidence in the very start of your research because uh, kung ngayon ka lang maglalagay ng significance level mo, you may become biased. No? If you want to increase the number of significance, then you can just adjust the number. So, hindi maganda yan. Um, you have to decide at the very beginning your threshold. So, at this point, let's say our p-value is our, our level of significance is uh, 0 0.05 Okay, as your significance level, this will be your significance level. Significance level. So you just have to compare. So this one is bigger than 0 0.05. So therefore, you are gravitating towards accepting the uh, null hypothesis. Okay, so. You have to accept the hypothesis that there is no difference between um, the observed and the expected value. Okay, but if you want to use the chi-square test, okay, you just have to uh, the the you use the calculated value and the critical value approach. You have to uh, know the degrees of freedom first. So your degrees of freedom again, uh, the formula is the number of rows. So ilan yung rows niya? Uh, one. Two. So there are two number of rows, asterisk, two minus one, okay, times the num uh, times the number of columns. So then it comes by one, two, three, three minus one, okay, then. Um, To put enter so the degrees of freedom will be two so for your uh, chi square value so the formula will be chi square dot inv dot rt so you have to put your equal sign again there and type in chi square put time more than dot inv dot rt put in there so again you have to um, use the probability value your probability value is this one so click on it and then comma uh, your, your degrees of freedom okay the degrees of freedom is this one okay so that's it i just have to click enter and your uh, calculated value is 3.965 and your uh, critical value is uh, uh, degrees of freedom and get the get the uh, 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 chi-square table and uh, your chi-square table 
will be I don't know what's the value here so let me check on the degrees of freedom so freedom of 2 I'm looking actually at the table the elementary table for a uh, chi-square so degrees of freedom of 2 at the level of 0 0.05 it will be 5.99 so that will be equal to 5.99 so again compare these two so if your this will be your critical value your critical value will be 5.99 and chi-square is less than your critical value so it is within the uh, reject uh, acceptance region okay so therefore um, conclusion Conclusion is what is your conclusion that we are going to there is no significant difference between the expected and the observed. That's it. You've done your chi-square test.